What's up YouTube? Justin here back at it again with another deck setup. Got some mob grip blank. I'm gonna try and do this unedited. See how it goes. I got an 8.75 Frankie Villani hollow foil bat deck. Let's go ahead and start by gripping up the deck and then uh, we'll take the trucks off the old one as well as the hardware obviously. I usually get new hardware every deck but the hardware that's on the previous deck, which is on the deck now, I'm still gonna use that one uh, just cause I didn't go yet to get more. Let's try and get this on somewhat. There we go. This is my favorite part of setting up a new deck. The other one still has plenty of life in it, left life left in it. Um, so I will be reusing that one after I skate through this one as well. Probably be swapping out back and forth or whatever for the next two months or so. I just want to set this one up for tomorrow. I'll be going to DC tomorrow, so I wanted something new to have for the event I'm going to. It was nice to have a fresh blade on your, whether you're using a knife, pocket knife, or whatever. It's always nice to have a sharp blade to go straight through the grip, grip tape. As um, you can see here, I have a brand new uh, blade on here, so it's not giving me any issues, and it feels amazing as it glides across the deck alongside it or whatever you want to call it, I guess, beside it, whatever you want to put it at. But, ooh, it's clean. Give her a good old sand down. Just the edges like I always do. Keeps the uh, keeps the grip intact and keeps it from peeling off. So I always do this every grip job. Every new grip. Sand down the edges. Deck is all gripped up. Let's go ahead and take apart the old one. This one was a 8.75 primitive deck as well. Very similar shape, but this one is a longer wheelbase. 
I like a little bit of a shorter wheelbase, which is also why I actually prefer this one and want to swap it out. Not complaining. Um, I just think that I ride those better personally. So we're going to be swapping out to that one. Since this is going to be my second um, event I'll be competing at, hopefully. hopefully. Um, I don't know what it's going to turn out like, but I want to participate and see what it does. See if it's enjoyable or something I'm interested in, whatever. Um, and I'll go from there, obviously. Let's see. I'm trying to use this to make it more interesting and more fun for me as well. I'm using a butter knife to take my and a drill to take my nut, my nuts off the truck. The hardware. It's kind of fun to switch it up like that now and then. Get the front truck off. Just so I know which one is the front and the back truck, I'm gonna leave the back truck on the old deck until I get the new front one on the new one. And then I could just swap the other one over right after. But before I do that, I will be poking the holes in the deck itself, like so here. This is the nose. If you guys haven't seen my other setup videos, I usually crisscross the top four bolts. I'll buy um, hardware that comes with one or two uh, silver, gold, or whatever color bolts they come in, just so I can separate the nose and the tail. I've got two silvers crisscrossed with just basic black bolts. I've found that those 7 8 Indies work really well for me as in they last a while they hold up every de deck setup and if not one deck several decks i've never had issues with them i'll usually go shorties or indies i used to ride shorties a lot more over indies but indies 7 8 hardware <laughs> their um their hardware top bolts um the 7 8 ones at least are a little bigger as in the um, the Phillips head part, the Phillips part of the hardware is slightly bigger in diameter than the shorties are, which is actually, um, I mean, not really any different, but you can tell where your bolts are, I guess, if that makes sense, because of that, which is nice. It's always nice to know where your bolts are at. And they don't stick out either like you would think they would. So, that's always good, I guess. Good enough there. I'm just trying to again use this butter knife. The butter knife isn't really it's doing its job, but it's not. Um, probably wouldn't recommend using butter knife, but I'm still going to continue to because I don't want to stand up. I'll get some on and off just fine. So it works.
Got the hardware and the trucks off the old one. Continue putting this thing together. If you have stayed this long, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching the videos. As always, um, I know this one didn't have any music uploaded to it, but I did want to do a raw setup video without music or editing. Um, I don't know, just because, I guess, you know, I don't know what I wanted to actually, but I just wanted to make a video without doing a whole lot of editing and uploading a bunch of different stuff to it and whatnot. Just your plain Jane simple video. I did already set up one of these with you guys, which I mean the same exact, the same exact primitive deck a while ago. And since I really like this shape, concave and whatnot, I got another one. So if you all haven't checked that one out, please feel free to check that one out as well. It's the same thing, just a little different because it was a different time I set it up. And uh, it's obviously nothing too special. For that reason, but it's definitely fun. That is the setup video for, I guess I'll skate this one for a whole month. I usually get uh, my boards to last me about a month of everyday skating. I skate like every day. Um, obviously, if you haven't seen my everyday YouTube shorts clips, please feel free to check them out. Until next video, I'll also be reviewing this deck and maybe, like I said, skating it once I'm done skating this one just to save money. Until the next video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.